Francis Pagamagabao was a Canadian sniper who served in World War I and is credited with 378 enemy kills. He enlisted for military service in 1914 and was assigned to the Canadian Expeditionary Force, later reassigned to the 23rd Canadian Regiment. Deployed with the 1st Canadian Infantry Battalion in February of 1915, Pagamagabo displayed remarkable sharpshooting skills, which he had honed through hunting in his local area. Throughout his career, he was instrumental in many battles, helping his battalion to fend off countless waves of German soldiers. One of his most significant achievements occurred during the Battle of the Scarp, a World War I battle that took place during the Hundred Days Offensive between the 26th and the 30th of August, 1918. On August 30th, 1918, when his company had almost ran out of ammunition, braving the no-man's land alone, Pagamagabal retrieved enough supplies from dead soldiers in the field to carry his unit through a final enemy counterattack. By the end of the war, he was credited with 378 confirmed kills and had captured over 300 enemy troops. After achieving the rank of Sergeant Major, Pagamagabo returned to Canada and remained part of the Algonquin Regiment Militia. He was later elected chief of the Perry Island Band and became a political activist for Native Americans throughout Canada. In 1943, he became the supreme chief of the Native Independent Government and worked as a guard at a munitions plant in Nobel, Ontario during World War II. He passed away on the Perry Island Reserve in 1952 at the age of 61.